Hey everybody, Josh here with Bees in the Weeds. I got a new camera that I'm trying out for Christmas, so my wife was kind enough to get me a 4K vlogging camera. So I'm currently using it right now. We're going to see how well it works. I don't have a microphone hooked up. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research to see how to, how to get a microphone hooked up to this thing uh, to make sure that the audio is pretty good. So hopefully you can hear it okay. Uh, it is towards the end of December. It is 60 degrees outside, which is incredible. The bees are out flying around doing their cleansing flights. All 10 hives are in good shape, at least uh, based on the activity at the entrance. I know there are a couple of hives that are low on the soft sugar brick. So I'm going to go ahead and replenish those hives now uh, during this warm spell uh, to make sure that they have as much food as they need throughout the winter time. So I figured I'd bring you guys along with me and you can see how I do that. Now, before I take this off, I've, I've been playing with a new recipe uh, for sugar brick. Uh, this one, I'm trying to get the, the mixture right between sugar, pollen substitute, water, and some other ingredients. So this one, this one came out a little soupier than I wanted to, so a little bit too much water. Uh, the combination that I used was a five pound bag of sugar and I used a cup and a half of water on this. A cup of water came out pretty good but it was a little dry still. So what I should have probably done is add about a quarter cup of water and I think it would have been perfect because un underneath this um, it's still a little, it's not quite as soupy as what's on top here. I still think it'll work just fine in these. Uh, the bees are going to clean it up pretty quick anyway, go after it with all the sugar in here. Um, but. Uh, I'm still playing with that uh, combination. I'm going to try a few more things. I'm going to try to find a binder that will help hold the sugar brick together. And then when I have that figured out and perfected, I'll say, I'll go ahead and post a new video on how I make the sugar bricks. So anyway, I think I can still get this one to use, though. This hive is pretty packed full of bees, if I remember correctly. We're going to see what we have here. Now I'm going to have to use some smoke to get them out of that Vivaldi board uh, square because it's very likely that they're all up in there. And that's the best way to just get them down. I don't like to squish bees. And there's really no, there's no condensation right here. This is all dry. Sometimes you'll get a circle of condensation here where the, the bee's breath comes straight up. This burlap's dry. Yeah, so these bees are almost completely out of sugar brick. So I'll just set that aside. Try to smoke the bees back down into the hive the best that I can. They may not all go straight down. I may have to just pull it up and shake them out. And they'll find their way back to the hive. But if you're patient, a lot of them will go down. You can see there are already quite a few of them have already gone back down. And I may just pop the top on this hive just to see how the colony's doing. Just I'm not going to pull any frames, but just see if I can see the cluster. This colony seems to be one of the stronger ones. Just give them a shake there. And you got to get all the bees out of here because I'm going to refill that with the uh, sugar syrup. So and I should probably keep this covered so I don't set off any sort of robbing event here. Okay. I'd like to get these bees in here off flying if they would. I 
see a couple small hive beetles. I really like to smash them. There we go. There's one right there. Got him. I mean, that is just loaded with bees. I mean, I'm I'm truly amazed how many bees are in this colony. Let's tilt this up here. Hopefully you can see it. Of course, I'm always looking for the queen. My queen's marked, so you should find her pretty easy. But there's five or six seams of bees in this cluster, which it just seems like a large colony for this time of year, but but that's fine. They look pretty good. I'm not going to keep this open. Those bees work hard to keep warmth in the hive, even though it's 60 outside. So what you do is just kind of get them out of the way here. There we go. Get the entrance back on. Okay. Now most of them are out of here. I still got one bee inside the... Come on. And we'll go ahead and get this refilled. Like I said, this is definitely soupier than I would like it to be, but it'll still work. It'll stay in here. Just added a little too much water on this one. They're already coming up in here to get it. And that's why I've drawn these black lines here. Because it really helps me see to keep this centered over the cluster here. Just try to wipe up this excess. And that's why you wear these disposable gloves to make it real nice where you just pull the gloves off and you're good to go. All right. So I think this colony is good. Come on. Take off. One out. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get the top back on. This is all hard sugar. That... And this stuff attracts small hive beetles, so you try to keep it as neat as you can. All right. Go ahead and put the burlap back in here. And our inner cover that's got the reflectix helps radiate the heat back into the hive during those cold days. And that's really how easy it is. It doesn't take long at all. You know, five minutes, ten minutes per hive. Just get in, refill their sugar brick if needed. And uh, make sure they have enough emergency food. And so I'm going to go ahead and go through the rest of these hives. 
Some may have used up all of the sugar brick, like this hive that's pretty high in population, and some of the smaller colonies may not have dipped into it yet, may, may never dip into it all winter time. It uh, really just depends on how much honey and stored food they had in the frames. They're, they're always going to prefer that first over coming up and getting this because it's, it's above their home. Uh, it's, it's above the cluster, so they have to break cluster to be able to come up in here and get this. Now, on a nice, warm, 60-degree day like this, that's obviously not a problem. On the colder days, that can be a problem, but it is there if they need it. Um, and uh, but like I said, some colonies may not use any of the sugar brick. It may stay in there all winter, and they never touch it, and that's fine. It's there for them if they need it. If they don't need it, I don't care. That's even better. So I'll go ahead and look at the rest of these hives and um, get those inner inner squares filled up with sugar brick. And that's it. Just periodically keep checking on these hives throughout the winter just to make sure they have enough food. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.